Hi guys, Greg at Best Trace Trailers here to walk around a Iron Bull DTB dump trailer. It's a DTB 14, 14,000 pounds, 7 by 14 in size. Everything you see here is standard equipment on this particular unit. I wanted to show you all the features on this trailer. Our Iron Bull dump trailers we don't feel are for everybody, but uh, they are a very heavy built trailer. So for our heavier duty users, definitely something to consider show you all the features again everything on this trailer as seen here is currently a standard feature so let's take a walk around the trailer show you all the features on these so this is a new for 2021 this model has been out a while but some of the some of the uh, features have been upgraded so i will go back on my standard that spare tire mount technically is an option but that ends up being on most all of the uh, the iron bulls so up front we got a six hole adjustable coupler. Notice it is a cast coupler. If you're not familiar with these, forward is open, back is closed. It's got an integrated chain holder. 12K jack, uh, it is a spring loaded, simply pull the handle out. Inner leg drops down and then your, your handle will adjust your outer sleeve. On these there is an integrated chain holder, nice heavy duty front uh, coupler. Uh, safety uh, breakaway switch standard safety chains again standard equipment on this 110 volt charger is standard just allows you to keep the battery charged so it is a one um, 140 amp hour group 24 interstate deep cycle battery uh, standard notice they do put the positive um, cover on it's got a KTI pump power up power down now one thing, I'm not sure if they're going to do this long term, but this is kind of newer to the industry, so they're doing it now. It's actually a manual drop valve on these, so it's power up, power down. If you ever got in a situation where you didn't have power on the way down, your battery was dead, you can open that and it'll basically act as a bypass so that it, it doesn't uh, overflow your reservoir. Don't want to get too caught up in that, but basically if your battery's dead, contrary to what some folks will say, your dump bed will come down. It'll just gravity down, not power down. It ends up overflowing your reservoir. This basically acts as a bypass so that that does not happen. If you have any questions on that, feel free to call us. We can go over dump operation. We also have other videos for that. So this is kind of a neat feature as well. So if I hit up, it's actually got an integrated voltmeter. So that would be important because um, you would certainly want to know if and when your battery is getting low so you can charge it. So with an integrated voltmeter you can get a pretty good idea where your battery stands and if you're going to use it pretty heavy say on a weekend or weekday or whatnot, get that battery topped off with the integrated charger. Now most chargers in the industry are 5 amp, some are 2, some are 8. Check your charger on your trailer. 5 amp charger, just to give you an idea, on a 140 amp hour battery, 140 divided by 5 comes out to, I believe, 28. You'd have to have about 28 hours of charging to top off a fully discharged battery. So if you're going to use it heavy a day, you'd want to charge it fully a day in advance. Tarp kit on this is standard equipment, pretty nice. There's a, a uh, housing for it. You've also got an anti-sail bar, so one person can take that, walk it back to the back, and uh, clip it in ball bearing set with a Zert standard spring loaded handle uh, nice setup our bulls also got their warranty program the 232 uh, three-year structural two-year comprehensive and two-year roadside assistance covers things like lockouts vehicle fluid delivery etc trailer is powder coated it's got Sherwin Williams powder coat stake pockets uh, if you want to go higher with your size you can do that uh, I like this integrated body stiffener in the side. So this is a 10 gauge wall. You'll notice in the industry, most are gonna use 10, 11, or 12. So this is about as heavy as most are gonna do. Then it's also got that keyway and it adds a lot of strength. Very heavy duty setup. Also got J hooks going down the sides. If you wanna strap uh, a bungee cord to a grommet, you can do so. Fenders on these are a double broke tread plate fender. It's also got the integrated fender gusset. Um, nice setup makes it a little bit harder to damage the fender itself integrated side step also got some additional tie downs you can hook chain or a J hook into that if you want to cross straps now one important thing on this uh, there's two main styles of dumps in the industry this particular style is uh, kind of an old-school design if you will 
it's got the traditional tongue with the tongue that wraps back toward your spring hanger. We just call that a full wrap tongue. And then it's got a traditional mainframe. So Iron Bull right now has two main dump models. This would be one and then their DWB, which would be what we call a mono frame, which is kind of what some of the industry is going to now, where it's one I-beam and eight inch running all the way to the back and there's no stacked area right here. This particular setup right here though is the heaviest by weight and probably the smartest by design for a heavy duty end user. So if you look, it's got a six inch, 12 foot pound uh, frame, or I should say a tongue, that wraps back and then you've got a six inch 12 foot pound i-beam frame most of the mono frames in the industry are going to be an eight inch 10 foot pound some are using an eight 13 foot pound so the poundage is really right there either way difference being on a stack frame you're doubled up you've got 24 foot pound for roughly five foot right where your most critical area is going to be between your axle and your coupler so again this is what we call a stack frame uh, by weight, this is our heaviest in-stock dump out of about six different manufacturers that we carry. So if you're tallying up the weight and where it's going, uh, again, six inch, 12 foot pound tongue and mainframe. And then let's take a look at the bed frame. So the bed frame here is a six inch tube, which is about a nine and change foot pound. A lot in the industry, they're gonna use a three inch tube, a four inch tube, or some are gonna use a four inch channel or four inch angle. So again, by weight, we've got quite a bit of mainframe weight. If you're a lighter duty user, this probably is not the trailer uh, for you. So let's keep going around, 10 gauge side, a lot in the industry are gonna be a, a 10, 11, or 12. And then let's go to the floor on this. So new for 2021, this has a seven gauge floor. Industry standards at 10 gauge. Uh, 10 gauge, if you're keeping track, would be about an eighth of an inch. Uh, seven gauge is 316 so you're 50% more steel the added steel in a seven gauge floor is about two and a half pounds per square foot or about a hundred pounds on this size I'm sorry 250 pounds about a hundred square feet on this trailer so you're adding 250 pounds of steel into the floor if you're a heavy-duty user if you're loading equipment a lot or if you're dropping uh, concrete debris or similar in this would be an ideal trailer for you now, if you look at the sides, you'll notice the corrugation that's in them, just like a house foundation, that corrugation uh, adds a lot of rigidity and just makes your side stronger. Now, you notice that is formed into the sides also. It's not, uh, it's not a straight wall with a keyway welded on from the outside. Also, the gate on this is a little heavier. If you look, it's about two and a half inches thick. Industry would normally be inch and a half, sometimes two inches. But beyond that, the gauge of the steel and then also the keyway in that back gate makes for a, a very heavy duty setup. Now this is a three-way style gate. So you've got your spreader, set your depth, pull your handle. It's also a barn door so you can open it up, hook your, your D-ring uh, to your door hold back. And then you can also pull your pin up top, lay it down, set your depth like a pickup truck style would. So a three-way gate at the rear. It's also got your integrated uh, anti-sail bar holder, so you'd pull your sail bar back, put it in there for your tarp kit. Very nice setup. Uh, also, uh, I think these came mid-year 2020, but newer on Iron Bowl would be the rear stabilizer jack stand. Uh, the stand itself is not standard. The prep for it is. Anybody that wants that, generally we do keep these in stock. So if that's something you want, just make sure you tell your salesperson and we can get those added on undermount ramps are standard i do see some in the industry still doing side mount ramps this undermounts are a lot more convenient notice the uh, lights we got the three center markers and then you've got your stop turn tail outers it's a hook style ramp so like most in the industry it just hooks over your rear bar is powder coated and another new for 2021 they're doing a powder primer on these black is the standard color uh, starting to see some charcoal ones as well and again we said spare tire mount not uh, currently standard but uh, seems to end up on most of the iron bowls that we get in Dexter brand axles 7,000 pound these are straight axles uh, we prefer the straights. You can also get drops. Drops don't generally tend to be 
quite as strong. Slipper spring suspension, standard equipment. 235-80 R16 load range E, 10 ply radial tires standard. It's got the black cap for the Easy Lube hubs. Behind that cap is a greaser. You can do your own bearing maintenance. Uh, black mod wheel standard on these. Also has the newer self-adjusting brakes. Some would call them forward adjust or never adjust. All refers to the same setup. Much like a car brake assembly, it self-clearances throughout the life of the pad. Generally very little maintenance. Can still adjust them manually with the spinner wheel. Let's just put this bed up, let you see it in action here. You'll see right now we're running 10.4 uh, volts. Again, once you use this a little bit, you'll know roughly when you need to charge it. Better look at the stack frame. Again, this is I-beam. A lot of guys like I-beam because it's strong. It's also easy to clean both sides of. You can get the inside and the outside. Notice you got your cross member at the back there. Then you've got a double right at your scissor. Five sixteen scissor on twelves and fourteens. You jump up to a five twenty on a sixteen foot trailer. Check our other videos. We've tested these. They're generally good for about a ton, ton and change more than what the trailer's legal payload with tongue weight is. So if you do load them just a little bit tongue heavy, it'll still more than dump what the trailer's designed to do. If you look underneath, there's a substantial difference between this iron bowl and most in the industry. It's a really neat feature. There's They've got bed sill runners that run parallel to the trailer uh, that actually double as your ramp holders. Very neat design. It gives you a lot of strength running right where the tires of your piece of equipment would be. Really neat idea that they have that's been uh, with Iron Bull since their founding. So, pretty neat setup there. So most any dump's going to get about a 45 degree angle. Same here. 45 is plenty to get uh, pretty much all material out in all temperatures normally we find about 41 degrees is where your sticky clay starts to come out again achieving about a 45 degree dump angle with a 516 scissor different lengths are available 12 14 16 foot also available in a gooseneck and then we also stock some trailers with the 8,000 pound axle upgrade if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.